size of the world's tallest man. Can we just take a moment? What? <laughs> oatmeal so there you go that that's as interesting as it was <laughs> but <laughs> we got these little like vouchers so we can go in with a discounted price to the Ripley's Believe It or Not because we were looking at it and it looks really cool but it's like 20 euros so we're saving two euros so it's 19 so it's something 1950 so I mean not bad but we wanted to do something today and we haven't seen really any of the museums yet so we have to pick one yeah and I think this one seems like the coolest one. Yeah. Like, you know the Ripley's Believe It or Not book. That's what it is. It's based off of. We'll probably take videos in there. So that should be fun. We're back again in our little spot that we were our sitting home. at for like six hours yesterday. <laughs> I didn't film much yesterday because literally all we did was like sit around and people watch. Like, look at how weird people were. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's what's up. That's what's happening. Dear future Maddie. Remember what's happening, so because I don't know what I filmed, I forget. So hopefully you edit it to make sense. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wait, wait! It's not over until I get off. The unicycle. Shut up. <laughs> Everybody, can five, four. Five, Thank you. Four. Okay, not gonna lie, that was actually not that cool. I don't know why everyone even clapped. Like, Gabby thought it was really cool, but I didn't, I don't, I don't know, maybe you guys thought it was cool, I don't know. Oh This right here, folks, is a veggie McChicken with, um, Zonder sauce. So, yeah, I guess. First bite, how does it, how does it feel? Satisfying. <laughs> Satisfying? I'm glad. <laughs> Hi. by the canal again we've been here like honestly three times today just today and there's some guy who was sitting beside us eating some yogurt and then yeah he just came and talked to us and told us a little bit about the history it's pretty cool first ever gay marriage happened here didn't even know that about Amsterdam so that's pretty cool been a, been a solid day what are you <laughs> you okay he doesn't yeah, like my storytelling no, I like, have no idea are you agreeing? I'm just, I'm just here. You're here because you're my friend. I'm just sitting here. I'm here to for the looks. No, <laughs> just, just cancel it. Okay, bye. All right, y'all. We're leaving Amsterdam. It's a sad goodbye, but uh, it was good. We got some free food. We got some pizza. Nothing to complain about. Gonna miss this beautiful view okay. in this beautiful house. We even we even watched Netflix. It was great. It's like a true true vacation. So this is this is it for Amsterdam. I'm gonna go head off to Hamburg now. It's so funny seeing people take pictures of I here. know. Our grocery bag got bigger. It upgraded to two bags. Somehow my bag feels heavier. I don't know why. I didn't buy anything else, but somehow I've accumulated more stuff without knowing. So that's really great. Guess I'll See you when something exciting happens. Bye! Yeah, I'm lit. Rolling up. When I call you late at night. Just wanna say for the record, we actually made it on time and early, actually. So we're actually gonna make it on our bus for the first time in a little bit. That we're actually gonna be in waving over there. She's in the sun, because for some reason she's not sweating her balls off. <laughs> Like some of us over here, I'm just here with the pigeons, you know. They're they're my friends in the shade right now. 
She's trying to get a tan. I am like crazy sweating. I don't even know why. I woke up like in a sweat too. So I don't know. It sounds kind of like a me problem. So we have to wait an hour, but better than running around trying to catch the bus. Plus I can take my backpack off, so I'll be free for like a hot minute, so. Oh good. This is gonna be a better bus ride than before. Cause I've learned you need to pack snacks because snacking on the bus just makes it like a 500 times more enjoyable experience because when you're on a bus for seven hours with nothing to do, uh, no one to text, nothing to write or watch, and no food, you get quite irritable and very uncomfortable very fast. Also, I have this pimple on my forehead, or a bunch of them, and I think it's from eating dairy because I did not have any acne before when I was not eating dairy. That's so gross.